When the code bases grow and different folks contribute to it, it is important to keep the quality of the code high. One of the tools to help developers grow in their skills and at the same time reduce the probability that a code change will introduce critical bugs is using code reviews. We make sure that the right person or group of people will be instantly notified to review certain changes in the code by using code owners. By using code owners, we can define who is responsible for what in the code base and automatically assign code reviewers in the merge request. Let's consider this example. I am a developer and I want to contribute to this file. I add doc strings to this function and create a merge request. We can see in the MR view that a set of approvers have automatically been created. One person and a group of people have been automatically mapped to be the ones to review my change. As a developer and as the code base grows, I didn't have to worry about finding the right person or group. Code owners did it for me. And how? Let's switch hands. And let's say that now I am one of the project maintainers. To configure owners, we need to create a file named code owners with no extension. It has to have specific syntax and different combinations available, as well as ways to keep it readable and easy to understand. For example, we can organize code owners by putting them into sections and naming each section into brackets. Here, this person is in charge of reviewing any change to the README file that is part of the project documentation. Adding the name of the file and the team member username will assign him or her as the approver in the merge request. In line six, we have an interesting case. What if I want not a single line, but a directory, and not a person, but an entire subgroup from my project to be approvers and review a merge request? I add the directory path next to the group and subgroup who will be assigned as reviewers in order to merge any changes done to any file within this directory. This last example means that no matter the location in the project, this user will be automatically assigned as an approver and code owner to any file with a Python extension. In fact, we can go back to sample MR. We can see this configuration in action in the code owners widget. Now, let's say I want to add code owners for the testing in this project. We can create a new section for testing. I want to select the whole directory and next to it, I will assign this user to be a code owner. Using code owners prevents us from sacrificing time to market, thus helping us to keep a streamlined and efficient process for approvals and code reviews, learning along the way who is responsible for what in our code bases.